What up, Roar Robotters? Solve them here with another video after a long hiatus. Uh, I quit playing this game months ago because it absolutely sucks. It sucks at champ level. All right. Um, what War Robots has done to this game has just been an absolute travesty. All right. Um, so I didn't quit this game because it got too hard. Um, I've still run nothing but griffins with plasma and organs this entire time. Still have good wins, still have good damage. Uh, I quit because it's so effing boring now. Being forced to play King of the Hill and Team Death Mode just is, is the pits. It's just, they're like zero skill modes and it's... It's just like the pinnacle of boredom in this game. Uh, you know, I used to be able to turn this on and maybe like eight out of ten games were, were awesome. I mean, you just turn on and have like a, a good, hard, skill-based, you know, challenging game. And now maybe like one in 30 games or one in 50 games is actually that way. The majority of the time you, you turn this game on you're forced to play an excruciating, excruciatingly boring game mode like TDM or King of the Hill, or you're just in this impossible odds type game facing, you know, nothing but OP crap like Spectres and Inquisitors and Shock Trains and Fluxes and just all this other BS. So, <clears throat> um, if you're looking for awesome games, believe it or not, they still exist. They're just not at champ level anymore. Champ level is just absolute garbage. If you're looking for good games, the good games where winning is still skill-based is at expert level. All right? So you're probably wondering, like, what the hell? Like, dude, I thought you were, like, a hardcore champ player, and I'm a hardcore champ player. Like, why would I want to play down a level? Well, I'd argue if you want to play good, fun, exciting games again, then this is the only way you're going to do it. But here's the concept that you might not grasp at the moment. How the hell do you get fun, skill-based games at expert level? Well, uh, you don't play your MK2 crap. You don't play the OP stuff that makes this game ridiculous. Um you play with a handicap. So same as in golf, like this is how you enable really high experienced players to compete amongst lower experienced players is the, the idea of a handicap. So um, I am running uh, level nine bots with level nine weapons and I'm not running any shielded bots, all right? So the other team, you know, has a fair chance to, to kill me. I've got to play smart. And i got to protect my bots. Um, and I'm not using any weapons where I can just, you know, annihilate someone in, in one second. Um, and I'm running close range. I'm not sitting back and camping like a, a straight-up wuss the entire game. Um, so so that's how you do it. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. So... You know, uh, a good friend of mine in this game that I've played with uh, forever, Pilot Gubs, hit me up a couple weeks ago and said, "Hey, why don't you fire up your uh, your your low level second account and play a few games with me in this uh, uh, in this Diamond slash Expert level clan I joined with my own second account?" And uh, I said, "Sure, man." I haven't caught up with you for a while, and I've been playing the game for a while. Like, you know, sure, I'll play a couple games. And we we played maybe, like, three, four hours straight until, like, the early morning, like, all over again, like, like the good old days. Uh, and it was, it was awesome. And here's the thing. Like, the games that are the most fun to win are the ones that are the most balanced and they're most, they're the hardest to win. And you're just, you're not going to get that playing at the champ level like champ is just nothing but straight out full op 
wuss punk ass style gameplay you know it's it's absolute the bottom of the barrel of of gameplay experience in the game right now so if you're looking for awesome games you know like we used to play back in the day where skills matter where uh squads matter where clap clan morale is high um this is this is the only way to do it so here's your options if you have a second account don't level up anything past level nine um you know probably no no further than level 10 and you'll still be able to play this game with a a, a good enough handicap where you still have to work for the wins and for the people with less skill they still have a you know a chance to to, to beat you all right um if you have a high level account already and you don't have a second account um then the other way to do it is to tank your your league down uh your league level down um and you know just load up you know those those griffins and galahads that you haven't played in a long time um uh, I still think that the best way to play this game with skill is to run Griffins. I just think it's like the ultimate skill-based bot. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to run anything else if you're trying to prove yourself as a skilled player. Um, so then, you know, the challenge is how do you go from champion to to expert level? Well, the answer is you have to take... Uh, your league level so the way you do that is by playing FFA but don't kill anyone so if you play FFA and don't kill anyone then you get the bottom spot you get zero kills so you can still have like a million damage but with zero kills uh, you get like minus 22 points um, and you know you start dropping league level uh, super fast uh, if you want to drop league level even quicker then just run like some you know level one geppards um, and you know whatever you do just make sure you don't kill anyone and uh, you know with your geppards getting like killed right away it means that you can play like three games in the time that it would take you to, to play one so it's up to you um, you can still play hard but just not kill anyone uh, or you can run some soft bots and not kill anyone and, and play your games faster but anyways with that technique if you focus on you know losing your bots within three minutes it will take you about six and a half hours to drop level from champ to to diamond you know that's really not that tough and you can fire up all those old bots that you, you know, proved your worth with that you know are actually much more fun to play, um, and respectable, you know, and an actual sign of being a skilled player. Um, so, uh, so that's how you can get uh, how you can get down here. But you know, look, Pixonic is not going to balance this game for us. They've, they've proven that that is not what they're interested in. So if you want good games again, I swear this is the only way to do it. Like personally, I don't care about high damage. And yeah, I'd like to win, but you know, I'm playing the game for the challenge. That's what I really like. I like hard fought skill based games. I hate overpowered uh, games, like not even the least bit fun. Um, and you know, furthermore, it's this overpowered era that has just turned this game that we love into crap. And, and here's what happened. Let's just say that before dot dash bots came out was the most balanced this game has, has ever been. All right. Dash bots came out and, and, and war robots had introduced like the, in, the unkillable killing machine bot that you no longer needed a clan 
or a squad of skill-based players to win because you now had a bot that couldn't be killed by anyone. Then Shock Trains came out and it issued in this era of being able to camp and do an insane amount of damage. Um, and now you don't even need a team. Um, and now team play didn't even matter because all people are trying to do is just camp back and, and zap people. And then Spectres and Inquisitors came out and now you can't even shoot bots because uh, they're invisible. Um, I mean, just the level of imbalance in this game is just disgusting. So if you want to have great games, then come down here to Expert. Let's get a clan going. Let's play Griffins like, like true skill-based players. And uh, let's have fun. So if you have any questions, hit me up in comments. Subscribe, damn it. Stay awesome. Woo! Woo!